Today in the news, we got TSMC with a respectable move, Microsoft with the loss of an OS, and a little bit of Intel. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. You know the old adage, thou shall not experience a lifted soul experience through the produce he sowed? also known as don't get high on your own supply, well, it seems like TSMC hasn't. So AMD makes their chips at TSMC, right? And in the news, we now have TSMC making the switch to AMD systems for their own needs. Honestly, it's not very surprising given the Zen architecture's track record, but it's nice to see that more and more big companies are considering the red team. TSMC wants to use AMD's Epic platform for their R&D division, specifically the uh, 7702 PC CPUs, which have 64 cores and 128 threads, and another model. TSMC's Director of Infrastructure and Communication said that one of the main reasons for the switch was memory density, and of course, more cores per system, allowing for uh, less server deployment. Anyways, I just thought it was cool to see this bro moment between two massive companies. Moving on, we got Microsoft with some sad news. A couple of years ago, with the introduction of Chromebooks and Chrome OS, Microsoft has sort of been pushed out of the uh, education slash low cost market. And last year, they decided to unveil what they thought was the uh, perfect solution. Take Windows 10, trim it down, make it simpler. Not too much though, we don't want another Windows 8. And that new OS, they would call it Windows 10X. It was teased with the introduction of the upcoming tablet device called the Surface Neo. It was a dual screen device that basically folded and it was destined for 2021. The device looked really cool and the OS did seem like a pocket Windows 10. Unfortunately though, it looks like Windows 10X is destined for the bin. According to news outlet Petri, Microsoft is shelving Windows 10X, which means that the Surface Neo is probably also getting the same treatment. Now, don't worry because apparently Windows 10 is still getting somewhat of a redesign or at least updates to its design since back in January, January, the company was hiring for, and I quote, a sweeping visual rejuvenation of Windows experiences to signal to our customers that Windows is back. Just please get rid of the tiles and the start menu. That's the only thing that I need rejuvenated. And by rejuvenated, I just mean taken out. Next up, we got some Intel news for you. After what, six generations, the company is finally moving on from their 14 nanometer process with Alder Lake. Not only that, but it's also another drastic architecture shift that will happen at the same time. Intel told us that they would launch Alder Lake for desktops this year, but as we know with Intel, this, 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 and that, their timelines aren't really their strong suits. Now though, according to WCCF Tech, Intel would launch launched their 10 nanometer Alder Lake S series in November. That means that Rocket Lake will only have lived for eight months, which was kind of expected. Alder Lake, in case you forgot, will be using big Golden Cove cores and small Atom Gracemont cores, with configurations of up to 16 cores being eight small and eight big. According to a leaked slide, this new architecture would provide a nice 20% single threaded boost over Rocket Lake and up to twice the performance in multi-core when compared to the last generation. That's nothing to scoff at, considering that Intel is not that far behind AMD in terms of performance. It's just in terms of efficiency that Intel leaves a lot to be desired. One thing that you should take notice of, in my opinion, is this. Hardware guided scheduling. Do you remember when AMD popped out their uh, first 16 core CPUs for the mainstream market? Well, it was really rough to get all of these cores to jive well with software and Windows 10. AMD had to do a lot of work with Microsoft to make it work as well as it does now. The 1903 update for Windows 10 finally brought some stability for the platform. Now for Intel, they might have to take a slightly different approach with this chip with more hardware based scheduling than AMD. They kind of have to given that not all these cores are created equal. Alder Lake S will of course also be the first desktop platform to support DDR5, but DDR4 motherboards will definitely be available. Same thing that what happened uh, back in the days with the Z170 chipsets from Intel that were both DDR3 and DDR4. It will also support PCIe Gen 4 and 5, which is a cool bonus. So what are your thoughts? 
Do you guys still hold a grudge over Intel for the dumb practices of days past? Or are you excited to see what uh, is going to come out of this? Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here, to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. You could take me anywhere you'd rather go. Till the day is over, I just want to know.